thebusiness.com. Exclusive, 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 exclusive. Last year, gritty soul and R&B singer-songwriter Liv Warfield was thrust onto the scene with the release of her album The Unexpected. Featuring a host of tracks ranging from slow, sassy and sexy ballads to thumping, horn fueled funk, this Illinois-born star took a step away from being Megastar Prince's backup vocals and stamped her name as a truly exceptional artist in her own right. Following her debut EP, Embrace Me, released in 2006, Liv was handpicked by the Minneapolis funk legend to become the newest member of the New Power Generation. An eclectic selection of super talented musicians and singers originally formed around 1990, which have accompanied the star on tours and feature on his countless albums. Liv, most recently, has been by Prince's side during his most recent hit and run theme shows both in the USA and the UK. I was lucky enough to spend some time chatting with Liv ahead of her scheduled first ever solo gig in the UK tomorrow night at Village Underground in London's Shoreditch. The star, who had spent the previous evening opening for legend Lionel Richie at the Montreux Jazz Festival, chatted to me about her current tour, her musical influences, hooking up with Prince, and her new album. Hello. Hi, good morning. Is that Liv Warfield I'm speaking to? Yes. Hi there, this is Greg. I'm calling from the UK. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you feeling this morning? You had a big night last night. I Yes. <laughs> How was it? Was it good? Did you open for Mr. Lionel Richie? Is that right? Yes, it was quite amazing. Like, I'm kind of just waking up right now thinking, like, what an incredible night. It was kind of surreal. Like, it was crazy. Oh, I bet it was. I bet it was. So, is today your, is sort of your chill out day today? Yeah, today's my kind of relaxed day. Oh, cool. <laughs> I bet it's been kind of crazy, isn't it? I bet the last sort of six months to a year have been kind of crazy for you? Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's been very nonstop. We kind of, we work on this tour, no sleep. Yeah. So, and that's fine with us. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we stay moving, that's what's important. Oh, brilliant. Exactly, exactly. So, you, you're heading to the UK next week, is that right? Yes, I'm very much looking forward to that. Is that, is this going to be your first sort of, your, your first solo show over in the UK? Yes, it is. It is. Like, yeah, it is. I can tell you, you got you got a, a lot of support over here, a really lot of support. Everyone, you know, since the album was is great, by the way. I'm still listening to the album. <laughs> it's such a great album. Um, and, you know, like I say, you know, there's so many people here that, that I know have commented about the album and how great it is and how much they love it. And, you know, it's just full of, um, you know, soul, funk. Sexy, sassy, you know, it's, it's just one, one thing. That's, you know, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, uh, it's, how did that sort of, did you have a, a plan for the album in your head before you did it, or, or did it just sort of fall together? And... Um, that's a good question. Um, the album for me kind of, I don't know, it just kind of came to me. Yeah. Um, but everything else, it started to unfold slowly. Um, I knew I wanted to do something. I'm in love with old black exploitation movies, so I love yeah. Patrick Jones. Okay. And I was like, man, if I was her, what would this musical sound like? Yeah. What would it feel like? What would it be like? Um, that was the inspiration I started with first. Yeah. Um, some of the songs I had written for a while, but, you know, I'm thankful to Phil Lasseter. He wrote and arranged a lot of the horn parts. Yeah. And I think that's what helped bring it alive and what the horn arrangements are just incredible. Yeah, oh, um, God, yeah, 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 yeah. They're so incredible, and it, it just felt musical. I wanted it to feel musical. Like, I always wanted to do an album that felt like I could perform it as a, a musical or a play on stage. Yeah, yeah. You know? It, I kind of wanted it to feel like a storybook. Yeah. Um, from the beginning to, to the end, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's like a journey, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, did you have, was there any influence on the album then, what do you saying that? I mean, apart from what you already mentioned, but was it like musical influence and then where you sort of looked towards and thought, actually, I like that sound, I, I want to include that in that? Um, not necessarily. No. I think the influence probably was already there and it came with sounds I already kind of been listening to and they, maybe they just weren't equally available yeah. at the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like, catching is very different. Um, your show, which is produced by Prince, is very different, which is, it's crazy because it captures that, that sound that 
I wanted kind of that old, that feel, that arrangement style. But <laughs> I wanted, it's kind of a gumbo of sounds. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Who, who are you sort of um, listening to now then? Have you got a wide range of music that you listen to or do you tend to focus on the sort of, you know, the sort of soul, R&B sort of side of things? Well, I think in the growing up process, I'm still listening. I'm, my sound in my ear is just growing. Yeah. So then and still now, I still have a soul R&B sense. So that's what I was really focused on at the time. Yeah. Like now my energies are on heavy guitar, yeah. like um, I'm kind of very much taken back by the Alabama Shakes album right oh, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's incredible, yeah. um, I really love, um, let's see, who else on this to guitar, like I, I, like, I like a lot of the Jimi Hendrix, early Jimi Hendrix stuff, I like cool, a lot yeah, of, um, yeah. um, I'm just kind of really guitar driven at the moment right now, um, even like Annie Lennox stuff. Oh, like yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of David Bowie. I'm kind of, like now. I think my tastes are just filtering their way in different sounds and some things that I want to try and like Shade. Like, yeah, kind, yeah. Of, kind of that vibe right now. But even then, it's always going to be soul, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. No, just put your twist on it. <laughs> it must be quite interesting to see how the influences or the people that you're listening to at the time influence your own work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Is that is that a sort of conscious thing? Do you sort of sort of listen to someone and think actually I want to incorporate some of their sound or what they're no. sort of doing? It just sort of no. happens subconsciously. Yeah, I think it's just it's it's a feeling. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think when you listen to whatever it's like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got a sound. I want to sound like Aretha today. Or, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I, mean? I, I think it's just I think it just sits there in the back of your mind and it's a feeling. And, yeah, you know watching them and watching her or even watching like Diana Ross or somebody or you yeah. know, I grew up in like Whitney Houston and stuff I think it's I think it's all just sitting back there collectively in your mind and you watch how they let go as artists yeah. that's what I was intrigued by I was more intrigued by I loved listening to their albums and when I when I got the chance to actually see some of the live stuff I was like oh my goodness <laughs> I think that's when you truly you, you truly experience something is when you see it live I mean obviously you can try and embody some of that on, on an album or a record Absolutely. but when you go and see someone live it's, it's, it's a whole different experience I think. it's a whole different experience that's why I'm so looking forward to Thursday because <laughs> you've got the horns with you as well right yeah those guys are incredible it's just, it's just the energy that they bring it's like I'm, I'm so just so thankful for because it's not just me it's, it's collective of, of course yeah yeah they're all i'm telling you they're all their own musicians crazy musicians crazy writers they have their own projects everybody in the band not just the horns yeah yeah and it's quite fun to see all of us come together that's, i mean you that, know, that's rare that must be quite a process though i mean putting i mean obviously they're all really talented musicians but coming together and putting that sound together must be quite a process for the live shows it is a process yeah. but like it's the attraction of like minds yeah we yeah. really are a family do you find you just sort of bounce off each other and sort of you know it just sort of happens there's no sort of choreographing if you like or sort of you know arranging it's just sort of like we're playing this let's yeah, we'll see how it goes it really does <laughs> yeah. it really does I mean you you mentioned obviously pre, just a second ago about Prince and, 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 work, and working with Prince and you're obviously you're still occasionally hooking up with Prince um, I mean how, how did that come about because that's kind of crazy yeah, it is. Um, it was just it was just a moment in my career that I thought this, at the time I thought, okay, I've done enough. This was cool. What a great run. The yeah. music business is hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'll just keep doing it. And when chances come, you know, come around, and then there was a yeah. chance they came around. There, you know, he was looking for another, you know, background vocalist at the time. And then somebody said, you know, you should send your YouTube video of Give Me Shelter. I was like, I'm not sending that thing in. Like, <laughs> crazy. I'm not going to hear from that. Like, there's no way. Yeah. And like three or four months later, it's kind of like I got a call. And um, I think I was like in this moment, like I am this one stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened, you know? Um, so was it just like, hey, I like your stuff. Come and, come and meet me and go from yeah. there. I mean, it's not like, that just lets you get me, he greeted me. 
Yeah, really? Oh, that's cool. How cool is that? Like a well-assisted and stuff like that. Yeah. That's pretty amazing to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, he was. Yeah. You know, and just how generous he is with his light, period. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he doesn't have to be, but he very much is. That's what I love most about him. I've learned so much about him because he, you know, he shares that light and he loves the real musician, the musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you, I mean, saying that, what, what, what do you feel you've sort of, uh, I mean, it's probably hard to, 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 to explain, but to gain from working with him and, and sort of what have you sort of taken from that, this, well, this period in your life still of working with him and being around him? Um, two things. Being a performer, one. Yeah. And two, learning to listen to the music. I mean, dissecting it with your ear. It's crazy, like his ears, his arranging, his ears, what he listens to, where he, it's a gift, clearly, yeah. for him, yeah. um, but I, I've just learned to really listen to the music, really dial down what you're listening to, heart, mind, and soul, yeah. seriously, I understand with that third eye, I get it, um, but <laughs> it's, it's really dialing it in, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, because I, yeah, I saw um, Prince's show, I mean, I've seen a lot of Prince shows over the years, but... Uh, when he when he was over in the UK last year, yeah. and um, I mean it's, it's, it's still it's still uh, uh, amazing to me how he maintains that you know that sort of like you say it's just a gift how he maintains that live presence um, after after all these years you know he's still number one out there I think for for perform, performance wise and, and live shows absolutely it just blows it out of the park yeah I mean like, yeah like watching him let go yeah is incredible. Yeah. And like some of us, some of the curls, the background singers, some of us are like borderline crying in the back. <laughs> you have to sort of catch yourself and think, oh, wait, snap out of it. Hold on. <laughs> exactly. It's so intense. Yeah. You know? and but what a cool place to be, right? Well, how, how cool is that? You know, what a cool place to be to be yeah. able to say that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the, the rumor is that you once beat him at ping pong, is that right? Uh, no, that's not me. <laughs> that might be one of the other girls. You know? <laughs> So what you got what you got planned for today, Liv? Are you just chilling out, relaxing, seeing the sights? Try to chill out. Yeah, try. <laughs> to save my voice in London. You know? Cool. Cool. So you are not working on anything currently either. You're sort of concentrating on the now, you're not got anything planned. Oh no, I'm working on stuff, that's for sure. Oh like, cool, that's good yeah, to hear, that's good to hear. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm really geeked about this one. Oh, brilliant! No, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. Really excited. Um, just one. I won't keep you any longer because uh, you know you got time. Uh, I've got one question that has been put to me on uh, on Twitter by one of the, one of the, one of your fans. They simply ask, "Is it unexpected or is it well?" Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> the album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say life for you now. Life for you as a, as now. Is it unexpected or is it well? It's expected. It's expected. <laughs> <laughs> it's expected. Oh, cool. Well, Lou, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me this thank morning. You. And um, I'll be there on Thursday. I'll be cheering you on, and I'll be grooving somewhere in the front row. I'll give you a wave. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You take care. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I would like to personally thank Liv Warfield for taking the time out to speak to me. And I urge you, if you haven't already, to get tickets to her London show tomorrow night in Shoreditch. If you're not in London, alternative European dates are still available. Visit livewarfieldmusic.com for full tour details.